In this example, I machining of a bracket, the next two operations are defined to perform the machining of the five circular through pockets. Let's first take a look at the roughing operation. Double click I rough through pockets in the cam tree to open the I machining operation dialog box. By clicking the show button on the geometry page, we can see that five closed chains are defined representing the five through pockets. We can now exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switching to the tool page, you'll see that we are again using the half inch diameter end mill. On the levels page, we have a negative 25 thou delta depth like the previous operations, so the tool machines deeper than the part bottom edge. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. On the Technology page, we can see that this iRough operation will leave a 10 thou allowance on the walls. Let's now switch to the link page for a minute. Now, since these pockets are closed with no pre-drilling data or entry chains defined, helical ramping will be used to enter into the pockets. Let's click Simulate to take a look at the iMachining toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, go ahead and click the play button. We see that the tool performs the helical entry into each of the pockets and clears out the necessary material. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Exit the Simulation Control Panel now and the iMachining Operation dialog box, and then open the iFinish Through Pockets operation by double-clicking it in the cam tree. This operation was initially created as a copy and is defined to perform the finished machining of the five through pockets. You can see here that iFinish was chosen for the technology type. And the copy geometry, tool, and milling levels definitions are all carried over from the previous iRough operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are also used based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Now let's switch to the Technology page. Under the Technology tab, the Wall Island Offset automatically defaults to 0 and cannot be changed. Under the IRS Data tab, note that the previous iRough Through Pockets operation is selected as the parent operation by default. And the values needed for calculating rest material are automatically populated to the fields. Let's now click Simulate. First, we'll use the default HostCAD mode to view the wireframe toolpath at work by clicking Play. Then, we'll look at the machining of our part in Solid Verify. Using the slider, Go ahead and first slow the simulation speed down, and then click the play button. The finishing of each of the through pockets is performed in a single cutting pass. Well, that just about does it for the through pockets machining. We can close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next. We'll take a look at the HSR operation defined to perform the rough machining of angled surfaces.